How's it going everybody, it's Sean here back today to give you guys a review of the Collegium Pillar Destroyer 2 and the Platinum Suede Colorway. Today's video is sponsored by the good people from Hefalux. So Hefalux is my favorite go-to sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles which essentially is the same material as Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort to your shoes, be sure to check out their website down below. You'll see they sell four different insole options. So depending on the type of insole density and cushioning setup you're looking for, there's gonna be something for everybody. So I've been a paying customer of Heflux for years now, and I definitely stand by their products. They truly add a ton of comfort for my feet. So on checkout, be sure to use the code SEANGO and get 15% off your entire purchase, and be sure to tell them I sent you. So back to the shoes, this is Collegium's highly anticipated sequel or follow-up silhouette to the Pillar Destroyer 1. And for those of you guys watching who don't know who Collegium is, they're an independent brand based out of California, founded by a good friend of mine, Nick, and their products, including footwear and accessories, are made in Italy, and they stand for their three pillars, which is craft, wearability, and materials. So this is the Pillar Destroyer 2, also known as the Devastator, and they released exclusively on Collegium's website on October 9th. And they released alongside the Avio Blue Suede colorway as well. So the official colorway for this shoe is Platinum Suede and Bianco, and they retail for a price of 250 US dollars, which considering the quality that we get, is very reasonable. So first off, here's a quick look at the box, and this comes in this very clean, simple, white colored cardboard box. We have Collegium branding on the top in this gold metallic finish. And this is the same box that the Pillar Destroyer 1 came in as well. And inside the box, they give us this black dust bag as well for the shoes, which is a nice added premium touch. So back to the shoes. Again, this entire shoe is crafted and made in Italy using Italian materials. So looking at the toe box, the base layer of this shoe, this is constructed out of a very soft Italian calf leather, which is done in this white color. This is pretty much the same toe box as the Pillar Destroyer 1, and we have this perforated look to it, giving it a classic athletic look. Overlaid on top, we have two layers. So the first layer is this gray colored suede, which feels super buttery and super soft to the touch. And then stitched on top of the front toe cap, we have another layer of that smooth leather. Covering the eyelets, we have this wavy pattern, which is that same leather material, but the top two eyelets are covered in this white colored TPU, again, giving it more of that classic sneaker look. Stitched on top on the side panels of both sides of the shoe, we have this diagonal panel of suede, which is similar to the design of the Pillar Destroyer 1. And then moving downwards, we have more of that smooth leather, and you'll see that the collar of the shoe is foam padded from within. Stitched on top of this, covering the back heel of the shoe, we have this very soft, smooth, gray colored leather. And one thing to note is you'll see that this leather panel is triple stitched, which represents the three core values of Collegium, which are craft, wearability, and materials. And then the top of the back heel is covered in more of that gray colored suede and we have Collegium's three pillar logo debossed in the center. For the laces, so these come standard with these flat white colored cotton laces, but they also give you two extra lace options. So there's a red lace for some splash of color, along with this off-white or cream colored lace as well. Underneath the laces, we have your tongue, which is constructed out of this nylon material in this off-white colored finish. The outer edges of the tongue are reinforced with leather, and on the top we have this rectangular tag in this grey colored leather, with the Collegium word mark stamped on across. So the back side of the tongue and the interior liner of this shoe, this is covered in this very soft white colored Italian calf leather, and simple touches like this really add to the whole luxurious feel of this shoe. So moving on to the insoles, these come with a very thick, very well padded insole. So the top liner is covered in leather, and we have Collegium Made in Italy branding stamped on the heel in black, and if I flip the insole over to the other side, you'll see that this is a full polyurethane insole. They actually changed things up from the Pillar Destroyer 1. And I gotta say this insole is thicker and it's definitely more plush. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this rubber cupsole, which is done in a wide variety of colors. So we have this off-white vintage look in the forefoot and back heel, along with gray on the bottom of the back heel. Underneath the strobel board of the shoe itself, we have another thin layer of polyurethane as well, giving you basically two layers of foam cushioning. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, so here we have your outsole, which is again different from the Pillar Destroyer 1. This is done in a combination of grey, white, and red colored rubber. We have this circular traction pattern on the forefoot, Collegium branding in the center, and you'll see that portions of the bottom of the outsole are carved out, which reveal this white rubber underneath. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. For those wondering how these fit, so the sizing on these are a little bit tricky. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. So on their website, there's a size guide and they say if you're a nine to nine and a half, you should get a size 42. But if you're a 10 to 10 and a half, you should get a 43. So in the Pillar Destroyer 1, I got them in a 43 and they were a little bit roomy from a length perspective, but they were great for my wider feet. But from talking to Nick, he told me that some people felt that the Pillar Destroyer 2 ran a little bit bigger than the one. So I opted to get these in a size 42 instead. 
And I gotta say, trying them on, they fit me perfectly in a nice snug way. So to give you guys a point of reference, I'm a nine and a half in a lot of my New Balance shoes, but otherwise I'm true to size 10. And the 42 fit me really well. There was just about a finger's width between the top of the shoe and the top of my toe. So if you're someone that likes more of a roomy fit, you can stick with the size recommendations on their website. But if you like more of that snug one-to-one -one fit, you can definitely go down a size. Moving on to comfort, so overall this shoe I gotta say is more comfortable than the Pillar Destroyer 1. And the reason for that is because the insole that they included in the shoe, it definitely feels thicker and more plush, especially underneath the back heel. So because of that, I felt my heels were a little bit more elevated off the ground, whereas for the Pillar Destroyer 1, it had more of a flat, even feel. But all in all, the new insole that they provided just had more bounce and responsiveness to it. But in either case, to me at least, both models feel very comfortable. To add to that, the upper of the shoe, the leathers and the suede are super soft and they feel very broken in already straight out of the box, so it's not a very stiff leather that you have to break in over time with wear. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so it goes without saying, the material quality and the craftsmanship on this pair, or for all Collegian products for that matter, are top notch. You truly get a lot more than what you pay for, and the fact that they promote this as a made in Italy shoe, it's not just buzzwords, it truly is a high quality pair. So with all that being said now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. All in all, I think Nick and the Collegium team really knocked this shoe out of the park. I gotta say, the Pillar Destroyer 2 or the Devastator is now my favorite silhouette in their portfolio, and I'm very excited to see what future colorways they drop down the road. Currently, both this pair and the Avio Blue suede are sold out, but I wouldn't be surprised if this colorway specifically restocked later on down the road. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Collegium Pillar Destroyer 2 or Devastator. I know obviously this is not a brand that's going to be for everyone. Some people just prefer to stick with the major brands and that's totally okay. But I love supporting independent brands like Collegium that really care about their customers and give us high quality products for the price. Either way, love it or hate it, let me know down below. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at sgo8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca if you haven't heard, I also have a podcast called the Channel 8 Podcast. So the video version I upload right here onto my YouTube channel if you want to watch that. But if you want to stream just the audio only version, you can check it out on most of your podcast platforms, including Spotify, Apple, and Podbean. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it helped you in some way. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one.